behind me in the distance. Well, you're going to see storm clouds rolling in, of course, but there is a mysterious tower on top of the hill. And that tower has always put me in mind of Torg. Torg, weirdly, stood for the other role-playing game, meaning it wasn't Star Wars. But, uh, anyway. Today's question is about games that you think deserve more recognition. And you might think that I'd be talking about Torg, but I think other people are going to be talking about Torg. At least I hope they will be, because it's a pretty impressive game. Very innovative in its original editions and in its most recent one. I got a long list of things, long list of games, like a crazily long list of games that I think deserve more recognition. And I put that list in my written blog. But I also focused on two specific games. I chose one for setting and I chose one for system. And in this video, which I intend to keep extremely short, I'm going to do the same. The system <laughs> the system I chose for system? Okay, fair enough. The system I chose for system was a game by Adept Press. It's owned by Ron Edwards. It was written by Ron Edwards, and it's called Circle of Hands. I've got a lot of videos about it on my channel, but the reason why I call it out here as a system that deserves more recognition is because it really does do what it tells you it's going to do. And that's, you know, a, a little rare uh, out there in RPG land. There are plenty of systems that enable you to process things, right? allow you to resolve situations. There are not as many which do so in a way that speaks so directly to what it is that you are doing. So, the aspects that I want to pull out of the system focus mainly on combat. There's a lot of cool things that the thing does, especially with its magic, but these are supposed to be brief. So imagine, if you will, a system for initiative where your action and others' reaction to your action matters. Imagine that the, you know, the, the random bits of of fate and circumstance that can trip up even the most experienced fighter matter. Imagine feeling like the fight is splitting up into groups and pairs. Right? And imagine that injury affects the character, affects you in a very direct and visceral way. And you'll be getting a hint of what Circle of Hands is like. The game that I wanted to call out in terms of its setting is probably no surprise to many people who watch this channel. It's Blue Planet. And Blue Planet is... Oh, I mean, it's, it's the very definition of this situation. Blue Planet has enough, let's say, science fact and political sense to keep it interesting, balanced with enough science fiction to keep it fun and then arranges it all with kind of a, a frontier society which will pretty much guarantee that there's lots of different things that your characters can and should be doing or might be forced into doing you know there's nothing quite like a frontier to back into danger and then all of that is wrapped up with the possibilities of a deep mystery to unravel. And then once it's unraveled, dealing with the implications and consequences of that mystery continues. So it's a very, very rich and layered setting, which mysteriously and unfortunately doesn't have the recognition it deserves. So these are my responses for today. Have a good one.